Yo, good evening. Man, have I got a lovely special pepper here. Thanks to Rada Farm, Troy. More goodies today. Um, this pepper, I mean, I really love this pepper. I've had it several times. I've had it from a few different growers. And it's a very, very stable pepper. Every time I've had it, it's tasted the same. It's burned the same. And it's pretty much looked the same. So, here is... Oh, not that beautiful? Bleeding calyx. For anyone who's never seen anything like that, it's called a bleeding bubblegum. So, what this is, is a seven pot yellow crossed with a Maruga scorpion. Now they're not, they're nowhere near the heat of the original red Maruga scorpion. They're, they're around a million. I mean, if you Google the pepper and you go on all the websites about these, they're all, a lot of them are full of crap. Um, it says on some of the stuff you read on Google, they're only 800,000 and they're a lot hotter than 800,000. There's not, there's no super hot to 800,000 because it's not a super hot if it's under a million. So, um, it is classed as a super hot, so... But I cannot get over that. A little bit fell off when I took it out of the box as well. So it did have a bit more of a red cap on it. Beautiful pepper. So this one was grown by Troy at Rada Farm. Great job, mate. I haven't had one of these in, I think, two seasons now. I got one from William. And back quite a while ago from Fire Dragon. I'm not even sure if Clint's grown these um, these days. But, um... Yeah, seven pot cross with a Maruga scorpion. And that was done in the UK many years back by a guy named John Harper. And what a pepper he created. So I'm going to get into this. I've got some good selection, real good selection of super hots. A lot of them I haven't even tried before. And there's a, quite a few peppers there as well that I have had before. Which is going to be interesting to see what Troy's ones are like. Because I know where he's got his seeds and they're going to be belters. So, seven pot bubblegum red. But we're at a farm. Cheers, butter. If you blindfolded me. And taught me to bite into that. I didn't know what it was. Literally the first bite. It tastes like bubblegum. It's fruity. It's sweet. It's got that small hint of floral. Mmm. Absolutely beautiful pepper. Got a bit of a head cold coming on I think. But I can still, still taste Mm. Wow. The flavor on that. I mean, when you first bite into it, for a pepperhead, someone that's had a lot of chilies, I'm not gonna lie, it does. It's got that bubblegum taste. It's real sweet, so it's like candy, fruity, and then it's just followed by a bit of floral. Um, some people say it kind of tastes like butch and hokia, but I think that that's actually. It's got more of a fruity taste up front than a butt, but um. The heat is building now, it's quite slow. Uh, Pepper bar. Uh, beautiful pepper man. Absolutely love these peppers. I've put some in my sauces a good few years back. I didn't even have a business at the time. And They're a very hot pepper. If you check on Google, as I said, some, some of the sites are just going to tell you around 800,000 to a million. 
What's got me drooling a bit? Classic M7 pot. Well done, Troy. The flavours in that man and the heat. It's quite a hot pepper. My tolerance is through the roof at the minute after that double pod the other night. <clears throat> I did have horrible cramps. Hurtberry and a unknown mustard from Rada. Yeah, I was in a bad way. I mean, at least I've done an afterburn. Two pods, six minute afterburn. I'll try and do four with a five minute afterburn, but we'll see. After that cramp the other night, I don't even want to do two again. I can handle peppers in my mouth. You know, I can talk through most peppers, but I do get bad cramps even after 10, 11 years of eating peppers. So it's just it's just one of those things that my body's not used to. So well, that went up and it went down pretty quick. So that says that my tolerance is it's pretty high. That's a million, million plus. Great pepper, man. The flavor is, oh, I love them. I really love them. I'm so glad I got to do one. Um, so I think my mate Stephen is going to do a mustard primo tally hopefully Saturday. I'll try and get around to John. I got some pods for John as well. Um, this is the last batch I think from Troy now for a while. And he's pretty much sent most of his varieties. But I've got plenty of other pods on the way, plenty of reviews to do with other people as well, so yeah, that was a great pepper man. Um not much more to say about that one. It went up, it went down pretty quick. That's just my tolerance at the moment. I'd say anything anything around a million Scoville is probably not gonna get me past the tree. The drill came and it went pretty quick. Got no sweats. Eyes are not really red, maybe that one there, but um yeah, beautiful pepper troy. Um yeah, give it a tree. I mean it's not an ultra hot so three out of ten Thursday night. Thank you very much. Um, hope your parcel arrives tomorrow. And I'll see you for Don't know, I might do I might do the hottest pepper that you sent tomorrow. Cheers, brother. Have a good night folks. Beautiful.